the heroes of American Pie meet again after several years. They prove that not even time and distance can destroy their friendship. In the summer of 1999, four Michigan boys decided to part with their innocence. The years had passed, and now the friends returned home, all grown up, to reminisce about the past and to have a good time. Hello everyone, this is Director of Hollywood. Today I'm going to tell you about the movie American Reunion. Thirteen years after high school, Jim Levenstein, Chris Ostriker, aka Oz, Kevin Myers, Paul Finch and Steve Stifler have grown up and become more responsible. Jim is married to Michelle and they have a two-year-old son. Oz has become an NFL sports commentator and lives in Los Angeles with his girlfriend, Supermodel Mia. Kevin is married to Ellie and does commissions from home, working as an architect. No word from Finch, and Stifler works for an investment firm. When the 1999 reunion was announced in East Great Falls, Jim and Michelle arrive at the house where he spent his entire childhood and school years. There they meet his father, Noah, who has become a widower. Jim meets his neighbor Kara, whom he once babysat, and learns that she is about to turn 18. Later, Jim meets Oz, Finch, and Kevin at a bar, where they cross paths with Selena, a former classmate and friend of Michelle's from camp. Suddenly Stifler shows up, and together they all join in the reunion festivities. The next day, the group heads to the beach. Oz runs into Heather, who turns out to be dating a surgeon named Ron, while Kevin crosses paths with Vicky. The guys have a conflict with Kara's boyfriend, AJ, and his friends, as they steal the bras and some of the sunbathing girlfriend's older guy's belongings, which ends with Stifler taking a big dump in their chilled beer container and, taking their car in tow, crashing their jet skis. That same night, the boys and girls, all but Michelle, go to the waterfall, where they cross paths with a group of high school kids celebrating Kara's birthday. Jim has to drive home a drunken Kara, who, in an attempt to seduce him, throws her dress out the window and remains in her motherfucking clothes, but quickly falls asleep from fatigue and intoxication. Oz, Finch and Stifler help him get Kara home without drawing her parents' attention, but AJ notices them sneaking out of the house through the window. Kevin, who is all lost that night, only finds himself the next morning in bed next to a naked Vicky and assumes they had sex, his conscience tormenting him. The next day, Stifler tries to throw a party like the ones they used to have in high school, but the atmosphere is not the same something boring and mature with blues and wine instead of beer and rock and roll. Everyone else doesn't want the youthful drive, saying they're past that age. Jim and Michelle, who have had an unremarkable personal life, are fired up with the idea of recreating their prom night. They bring Noah along to help him out of his depression, and he, while drunk, finds Stifler's mother Janine in one of the rooms. Kevin questions Vicky about the night they spent together, but she insists that nothing happened and even looks upset that he would think something like that. Mia takes ecstasy while Ron humiliates Oz by showing him a DVD of us playing Dancing with the Stars to the Drop. When Heather goes to calm Oz down, they try to rekindle their previous relationship, but they are interrupted by Mia, who gets into a fight with Heather. Jim and Michelle decide to roleplay, but Jim is confronted by Kara, who is once again burning with the desire to seduce him, and literally the next moment by a hostile AJ and his friends. The two conflicting groups get into a fight on the front lawn, but they are interrupted by the cops, who arrest Finch for stealing a motorcycle. Mia leaves Oz, Stifler decides to go back to work, and Michelle visits her grandmother. When Jim tells his father that he can't get enough sex, Noah says they need time away from each other. At the meeting, Finch says he's an assistant manager at Staples and stole a motorcycle from his boss when he didn't get the promotion he was promised. The guys bring back Stifler, who quits his job to spend some more time with his high school friends at the reunion. Kevin reconciles with Vicky, Finch develops a relationship with Selena, Oz reunites with Heather, and Jim reunites with Michelle. Stifler is asked to host a succession of his mate's weddings. At the same time, he enters into a relationship with Finch's mother Miss Rachel, who unexpectedly arrives at the reunion, trying to get even for the fact that Finch himself slept with his mother at their prom back in the year 1999. The next morning, the friends gather at Dog Day's Cafe, where Jim meets Kara, and both apologize for their behavior. 
Oz plans to stay in town with Heather, Finch wants to go on a trip to Europe with Selena, and Stifler hints about Finch's mother. They all agree to get together a year later and have an even cooler reunion. In the film's finale, the viewer sees Stifler's mom in the company of Jim's dad at the movies. And when Noah starts flirting with Janine, she suddenly puts her head down and gives Noah a blow job. That's all for today. Subscribe and like it if you want more videos like this.